and welcome to my channel. My name's Michelle, this is my husband Steve, Hiya. and today we're unboxing a subscription box from a new company called Plan Our Dates. For disclosure purposes, I have been sent this to review and I'm being sent another two boxes so over the coming months you'll see more videos about this particular subscription box. Like I said, it's brand new. The idea is, is they send you everything you need to have a fun day at home. The cost is $24.99 per month if you have a one month billing cycle which you can cancel at any time or they have other options for three, six and twelve months and the more months you subscribe then the cost of the box goes down but it's payable all up front so for example 12 months works out at $19.99 per box but you have to pay $239.88 up front. I'll put the website details down in the description box below and on the blog post that will accompany this video. So let's get into opening this box because let's be fair that's all you're watching it for and let me just um, address my blue eyeballs because today I have been well the last couple of days I've been practicing some Halloween looks for Crafty October coming up in October so that's why my eyeshadow is a bit leery. So. Okay, it's not just blue I can see some green and purple. Blue, yeah no, it? it was green and bright pink actually. It's it's a mermaid no maybe when you take them off you might be able to but yes yeah, so they'll be coming up in October and I didn't want to take it all off and put new makeup on <laughs> just to fill the box it's just can't be bothered with that sort of stuff so let's open this up shall we yep, husband we and see what's inside oh it's pecs right okay yeah, so woo, something slid out so here is the box what was it that slid out it was your instruction manual it's the instruction manual And some tissue paper, so let's just quickly. Can you open that for me? Yep, that's up all there. Oh, right, that's so, fine. Popcorn. Right, so that is the inside of the box. What should we do first? Should we. So I'm not used to unboxing boxes with my husband. I think we've done one once in the past and it <laughs> didn't go too well because <laughs> it kept speaking over me because I'm so used to filming these on my own. First thing I picked up is the instruction manual. It says, Volume 1, we assure you this manual is more interesting than those flat packed furniture manuals. And then inside it's got all the steps and on the back as well for your date. It says step one, they've got a special playlist on Spotify. Now, as it happens, I do have Spotify both on my computer and on my mobile device. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really handy. It's a free app. Just search for it in the App Store or what is it, the one you use on Android? Play. Yeah, Google Play. It says we've created a specially designed playlist to get you in the mood for some romance. So I will check that out after. Step two, it says who knows who. So inside, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Are these worksheets? Oh, of course. They're sort of static together. Yeah. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay. And it says. Who knows who designed as a conversation starter, like we need that for us too. <laughs> this game will hopefully have you both appreciating the things that you both do for each other. To get started, find your question cards and you will both read through the respective questions and fill out three possible answers. One correct, two incorrect. Oh, that's interesting. And the aim is to have your partner think hard, so try your best to push their memory skills. And then once you've filled out the sheets, you switch them and the winner is the player with the most quick answers are these, some... um, are these white clean sheets they're kind of glossy i don't know whether you can reuse no those. i don't think so no. probably not they're probably it's just probably you know material good good finish on there yeah so there is it's good finish on there now, judging, judging by the instructions it says on the card you are done one trans and two fake ones and they've got to pick the right yeah one. that's right that's, that? yeah that's yeah. what they said there it says fill out three possible answers one correct and two incorrect did you say that so he did didn't listen. yeah he didn't listen ah. sorry i was reading I may have to do one thing at once. <laughs> and then it says it's got some tokens in here, so not sure. Don't know what the winner's tokens are. I think they might be these little love oh, heart sweeties nice. um, inside. I think that's probably the best thing to. That's what looks like a token to me. Step three of the date is making pancakes by the look of it. Ooh, nice. So we do need to add some of our own perishable ingredients, but they've included flour, baking powder, powder sugar, golden syrup is inside, and we need to add the melted butter, an egg, and milk. Oh, it's quite handy because they're in little sachets. So I think that's one as well. Look, we've got baking powder. What have you got there? Flour. I've got caster sugar. I've got one that's no label on. Not sure what that is. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no. that smells like an after eight to be honest. Oh, is that 
Is there something else? I don't know. And it's a little bit melted, to be honest. Oops. Oops. Oh, he's an after eight. Yeah, it's a couple of after eights. It's quite hot at home, so I'm not surprised they've melted a bit. Licking it off. I love after eights. I've not eaten one of these for years. Just remind me again, what was it we didn't really need to add? Eggs, milk and butter. Oh, cool. Okay. Which most people probably have at home. I know we do. And I'm guessing if you want to tailor and like, put blueberries in or something else, you can do that. I would imagine so, yeah. I think probably <laughs> the whole idea of this date is of this date box is they give you the stuff and they give you the ideas, but I think, you know, it's not like you have to follow it no, exactly. letter to letter. You can add what you want to your, blo to your blueberries. <laughs> I'll have pancakes for my blueberries. I'll have pancakes for my blueberries. <laughs> Four says you might want to pack everything away now as this could get messy. We've included two A5 canvases, two pencils. So there's the canvases. Oh, I've just found the tokens. Oh, cool. One says one cup of tea, the other says one free massage. Two is a long free message. <laughs> and one says breakfast in bed. So what did it, else did it say? Blah, 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 blah. Two paintbrushes, two pencils, yep. acrylic paints. Oh. To test your artistic skills. Oh. <laughs> I've I, got a... <laughs> go on. I got an A when I did my uh, art exam in school. I got a D. GCSEs. Oh, did D. you? Why did you do art? So many so so do. What a waste of an option. <laughs> I know. So it says, take your time with this as we're running a social media competition for the best painting with a free, with a prize of a free six month subscription to our date box. So, yeah, so you can just, I guess, you can just draw what you does want. It, does it, it doesn't... say what to, what to no. do? No. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. The theme is our favourite activity. So. It could get extreme. <laughs> it's a dirty mind. So it suggests to like think back to the quiz that you played earlier on. And then step five, we're pretty sure you're worn out by now. Yeah, calm, knackered. So finish the evening off in true British style. And there are two Yorkshire tea tea bags. So, oh, so the after are kind of extra. So yeah, so there's just some little treats. So a couple and of little and the popcorn because it says mm. there you can cuddle up on the sofa so we can watch a film that we've sort of been meaning to watch. Oh. Um. Carry on. <laughs> I'm all sticky now. Good thing we have wipes mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. Who knows who? Well, this will be interesting. Should we play this? Okay, do. We're going to involve you in our date. So we're going to fill these out, Pen. No copying. So, no, no copying. copying. And so basically for each one, we have to write a real answer and a fake answer. Two fake answers. Two fake answers, sorry. So we will see you on the flip side. And we're back. It's quite late in the day, so it's a bit starting to get a bit dark now. This was really hard it to was. fill in. Very I think we've all been... Trying to fill in for about twenty minutes. Is, yeah, not I easy, think it, so. yeah, it was. There were some hard questions, and we've kept it um, PG. Yes. <coughs> Do you know what also was difficult. I found coming up with the wrong answers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can even be blatantly wrong. Well, no, because like, I think for mm. some of them, it's like, well, actually, because you know what I'm like. If you've watched any of my videos about favourite things and stuff, I can't just have one favourite thing. I have no, to I've have. Got no chance, I've I? got several. Should we? Switch over. Switch over. So the first question was, what is my favourite thing that you do for me? Ah, right. So Steve's answers were A, look after me, B, wash the car, or C, cook a mazé. And I'm going to go with C. That would be the right answer. Because a way to this man's heart is through his stomach. Definitely. And back when we were first dating, he was at work and I prepared like this wonderful Greek mazé for him. And I set it all up on the dining room. In fact, I think you took a photo. I mean, he was so old, like so many, probably in about 2006, I reckon. Possibly, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I have done them since, but that's sort of like the momentous occasion. Again, what is my favourite thing you do for me? So your A was touch my back in bed, B was hold my hand, and C, buy me stuff that I forgot I wanted. Now, there's a toss up between two here. My favourite thing. I want to say C, but I'm going to go with A. Touch my back in bed. Yeah. 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 That's really. I can't fall asleep unless Steve's hand, so I lie on my front, and um, unless Steve's hand is sort of just resting on the small of my back, I can't sleep. 
It's really bizarre. So if he ever falls asleep before me, which is not very often, I tend to fall asleep before him. You'll kick me so I wake up. <laughs> I get his hand and put it on my back <laughs> what activity do I most enjoy partaking in with you and you've written making a video on YouTube <laughs> really washing the car and cleaning so it's obviously <laughs> going to be A because we don't wash the <laughs> we don't wash the car we don't pay cleaning <laughs> and we don't clean so it must be A very good oh bless you uh, A's Pokemon Go B's dining out and C's swimming Oh, I'm going to come to go with A then, Pokemon Go. No! Oh, is he dying out? Yeah, it's dying out. Oh. I like it when we go out for a meal. I know. Kind of chat just and... Currently, we've been going out Pokemon hunting. Yeah, no, I know. It's been hot fun. <laughs> <laughs> what is my favourite memory with you? A, our wedding day. B, going to the zoo. Or C, Florida oh, holiday. Friendly, because two of our answers are pretty similar. Yeah. I'm going to... Would well, you want to read what... Because I think we're probably the same. You said A, first date, B, wedding date, or C, what is the world first time? And I'm going to say our wedding day. Yes. And in fact, actually, it's our wedding anniversary in just a few days' time, on the 5th of August. And we've been married for seven years, so. Lucky seven. Yeah, lucky seven. Right, what is my favourite thing to eat? You've written... <laughs> <laughs> Coconut ice cream, two for noodles on toast or curry. He hates coconut with a passion. And if you've watched other videos of ours, you will know that that is fact. Super noodles on toast would be his death row last meal. That's right. And I know that his favourite food is curry. I've got a headache. A salad, B Greek food, C pasta. I know it's definitely B, and I know it's actually more, it's actually macaroni pie. Yes. But yeah, Greek food, give me Greek food any day and I'm happy. Yes. What is my favourite feature of yours? Eyes, feet, ears. What? <laughs> eyes. Yes, of course. I love your eyes. Oh, do ya? Here, have one. Thanks. Same again, we have eyes, hands and smile. This might be a tricky uh, one for you. I think you said hands, didn't you? You like my hands? Yeah, that was in Mr and Mrs. Have you changed your mind? Yeah. Oh. Smile? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is my favourite gift that you have given me? You've written slippers, my watch and money. I know that the answer is my watch or his watch because that's what I bought you when we got engaged. Definitely. And your favourite gift you've given A, iPad, B, engagement ring or C, some sums. <laughs> oh, this is close. Um, I'm going to take iPad out. Oh, I'll say engagement ring. Yes, you're right. That's a relief. <laughs> what would be a close second? Some sums. Or the iPad. The iPad. If you had to give up one of those too, what would you give up? I'd give up the sums <laughs> <laughs> Next question. We need to leave the house quickly. What do I grab first? And you've written wallet, phone, cat. You need to phone the cat. <laughs> I'm going to say pumpkin, the cat. But I always assume in these sorts of questions, assuming everyone we love is safe, so family and pets. So I'm still going to say cat because I, d I think you'll pick them up I would think you'd pick pumpkin up before you pick up your phone and your wallet. It doesn't say any emergency, it just says quickly. Oh, he's so clever. So Look, maybe it's so melodramatic. No, it just says you've got to leave the house quickly. It doesn't say there's an emergency. So we're late for an appointment somewhere. Oh, you see, I read that as an emergency. I'm so melodramatic. Oh. So that's how I answered my question. So what would oh, you so if you're just leaving the house quickly, what would you grab first? I'm going to guess your phone. That's right. And you said A camera, B photographs, or C hard drive. <laughs> now, obviously, now I know it's an emergency, presumably it won't be your camera. So I'm guessing the memories of the photos probably. Yeah, it, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a toss up because I've got photos like hard copies in a box, which, to be fair, weighs a ton. I would not get that out of the house in no. an emergency. But yeah, we've also got so many hard drives, you probably wouldn't get all Yeah, I know, but I'd pick up my backup hard drive and just, okay. just swipe it out. So, I leave your poor Canon camera on the side. To, oh. you, can you can replace a camera. Um, you can't replace memories. Memories. Where would my de dream destination be? You've written Bermuda, Kenya, and Australia. I know for a fact that it's Kenya because when we played Mr. and Mrs. the other week, you said a safari in Kenya. Right. And you said either A, Hawaii, B, Walt Disney World, or C, Japan. Now, as we've done Walt Disney World, that's not a dream one anymore. So it must be Japan. Is that wrong? Yeah. You said it was my dream holiday. 
Yes, I know. Done, but it's still my dream holiday. Oh, if I had to choose please. between the three of those, it please. would always be Walt Disney World. I see if it's one we've not done before. No. So that's why I put in Florida as a blatant one that was wrong. Not wrong, but I Florida. You didn't. He's didn't got no it. memory, I this man. <laughs> what song best reminds me of you and you've written total eclipse of the heart your song and the power of love i'm going to say your song because that was our wedding dance song right. and i don't know what you've written for equally oh. is i knew i loved you oh okay be all that matters and see your to song me. yes uh, okay, mm. no i would have said c but i know how much you like b so it's gonna be quite no i'm gonna go back with c no is it b it's b oh. your song reminds me of us Ah. But if I have to pick a song that reminds me of you, it's all that matters to me because we had had a massive argument via email or phone because he was at work and he sent me the link oh, I see, to... I see the lyrics, didn't I? Yeah, he sent me the um, lyrics and the link to You All That Matters Me by, to me by Curtis Tigers as a way of saying sorry. And yeah, so every time I hear it, I cry and remember oh. the and then finally, if it could be anyone else for the day, who would you be? Now, I thought I found this so hard to answer for myself. But you've written David Beckham, David Cameron and Jamie Oliver. Wow. Now, now I rec I'm, I'm actually thinking you may not get this because I think you're going to come for a blatantly obvious answer, which might not be the right answer. Well, it can't be David Cameron because I don't think you... I mean, not that he's Prime Minister. Well, he, no, he's not Prime Minister anymore. Yes, right, so I don't really understand why he would want to be him. David Beckham, because I guess because he's a fit footballer. And then see Jamie Oliver because he's a fantastic cook and you know that I love, love, love Jamie <laughs> Oliver. So I'm going to go with see Jamie Oliver. My choice actually was A, to be fair. Was it? Yeah, only because I... Not because of the football thing, but because of everything he does. Like, when he does charity work. He's got his I'm so whiskey, shallow. There's me thinking I was really fit. I didn't even think of that. And to be fair, I put in Jamie Oliver and then thought, ah, I wonder if you're going to struggle with those two. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, no, I think if I could be anyone for a day, I think David Beckham. I reckon three his shoes would be pretty cool. Not that I wouldn't want to be in Jamie Oliver's shoes for a day. Right, you said either A, Minnie Mouse, B, Liz Taylor, or C, a mermaid. <laughs> well, you're wearing mermaid coloured eyeshadow now, so if I was to guess it based on that, I would have said C, mermaid. But... Because two of them are fictional, would I say Liz Taylor? This is quite difficult. Yeah, because I don't even know. I'd like to be all three of those for the day. I'm going to say Minnie Mouse. You're going to tell me it's Liz Taylor. I'm going to tell you it's a mermaid. Oh, is it really my first yeah. answer? Okay. That I would really love difficult. to just be a mermaid and swim under the sea. and. You'd have to hold your breath all that time, though. I'd be a mermaid. Yeah, I only put Liz Taylor Which down I've... because she's really... <laughs> But she's really glam, and Minnie Mouse because well, she's really glam as well. And he says, go through one by one and try to identify the correct answers. Take a winner's token if you get six plus correct answers. The person with the highest score wins the remaining token. And we've not really kept track, so I declare us as I think as I a draw. yeah I think that was a bit of a draw because I think we both got a couple wrong, didn't so. we? So um, but that was really really difficult. That wasn't was it? really difficult. This made you really really think. Yes, I think it made you think because of obviously having to put in the. The wrong answers I guess the well. wrong answers, but then sometimes that's a bit. Some of them, especially for you, were like too obvious. I mean, coconut, coconut. ice cream. Do you know what I mean? In fact, I should have put down celery. Yeah, that was a fun little game. Oh, so, I know that. Uh, yeah, you've all saw the cars yet, so it's going to be too bad. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> so now all that's left for us to do at some stage is to go and make those pancakes, which we can always make for breakfast tomorrow morning. And have a cup of tea. And have a cuppa. And uh, in fact, I could do with a cup. I've got a take. And that art thing. Which actually should be really funny. Yes. But we'll Dead probably. Mind, I can't draw to save my life. <laughs> we'll probably leave that actually for tomorrow as well, because like I said, I've got a headache and I've been working all day today. And it's getting a bit dark. And it's starting well, to get. It? Well, yeah, the sun has gone in. Not that there's been much sun today. That's it from the Plan R Day. It's their first box. It'll be interesting to see how the boxes develop over time. Definitely. It's quite good being a guinea pig, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the animal you'd like to be if you were an animal? So, yeah, so it's given us a fun quiz to do. Obviously, the art thing that we can do together. What else did it say? Cooking, the thing. The yeah, the cooking. Cook tea. The Spotify playlist oh, that we can, yeah, so we yeah, can yeah. listen to that. I think what everyone's got to remember as well, you're not paying the money just for the stuff in the box. You're paying for the general Yeah, yeah I think experience. for the ideas and to, like, you know, and to do stuff. Like, the idea is to do stuff 
either at home. So it does say on their website it would be stuff to either do at home or stuff to go to get you out of the house and do, mm. you know, but obviously we don't go out a hell of a lot. So we're always kind of struggling for things to do at home. Yeah, this is cool. I do have some discount codes Ooh. for those of you who have made it to the end of this video. If you'd like to get 50% off your first box, just type in Michelle50 and I'll put it just here to get 50% off. If you want to subscribe for three months and use first month as the code, you'll get your first box for free and only have to pay for the other two. I'm also running a giveaway where you can win a three month subscription to plan our date. The link for that will be here. She tried it. So just click on that link and you'll get taken to do it. Can we give away some of our pancakes we make as well? No, they're for us. Oh, okay. So, until next time, please take a moment to like, comment, subscribe and share. And we'll see you again in a video very soon. Well, us as a couple anyway. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.